Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. Friends, in this video, we are solving problem on maximum and minimum for the functions of several variables. Okay friends, given problem is first one, find the maximum value of x square plus y square plus z square subject to the condition x, y, z is equal to a cube. Okay, and the second problem here you observe friends, find the minimum value of x square plus y square plus z square subject to the condition x plus y plus z is equal to 3a. Okay friends here you observe, we have to find the minimum value for this same function, yes or no? But the conditions are different. So friends, in these two problems, I am going to solve one problem, you try to solve another problem. Okay, first problem I am going to solve, you try to solve the second problem. First, I am going to explain the method. How to find the maximum and minimum for the functions of several variables if it is having a, like a three variables. Here you observe friends, they are given a function. We are considering f of x comma y comma z, small f of x comma y comma z. And also they are given a condition. Okay, that condition we are considering as f e of x comma y comma z is equal to 0. Means x y z minus a cube is equal to 0 in this case. Okay, now here you have a two functions. Okay, this is the function. This is a level surface type. Okay. We have to use Lagrange's function. L of x comma y comma z. Of course, some authors they will say capital F of x comma y comma z. Okay. Lagrange's function we have to consider. Why we have to consider Lagrange's function means it is having several variables. The two three variables it is having. Okay. Then this capital F of x comma y comma z is small f of x comma y comma z. Plus, we have how many conditions are there here? Only one condition. So, you consider lambda into phi of x comma y comma z. Suppose if you have a more than one condition, like two conditions are there, you can consider this is a lambda 1 plus lambda 2 into another function. Okay. Now, here what we have to do, consider the first given function is equation number 1 and this is condition is equation number 2. Uh, Lagrange's function as equation number 3. Okay, now what we have to do? We have to find out the partial derivatives of capital F. That is dou F by dou X. Next, dou F by dou Y. Next, dou F by dou Z. Okay, now equate to 0. If you are equated 0, then you will get uh, 3 equations. 4, 5, 6. Total, 4, 5, 6. So, from these 4, 5, 6 equation, you will get a relation between X, Y, Z. You will get a relation between x, y, z. This relation you have to substitute in a equation number 2. If you substituted in equation number 2, you will get a separately x, y, z values. These values you substitute in the given function. Then you will get a either maximum or minimum. This is the procedure friends. Okay. Now I am going to solve the first problem. After that you try to solve the second problem. This is a similar to the first problem only. Okay. Right. Coming to the solution. Okay friends. Let's given function as small f of x comma y comma z is equal to x square plus y square plus z square and the condition phi r phi of x comma y comma z is equal to what you have here i can write this as x y z minus a cube is equal to zero okay this has equation number first one this is equation number one and this is equation number two okay consider lagrange's function okay lagrange's function capital F of x comma y comma z is equal to small f of x comma y comma z plus lambda into phi of x comma y comma z. Here only you have a one Lagrange's multiplier because you have only one condition. If you have a two condition, we have to take two multipliers. Here lambda is called Lagrange's multiplier. Okay. Now what I can write this capital F of x comma y comma z now which is equal to. What is the small f friends tell me? x square plus y square plus z square plus lambda into what is the condition here you have x y z minus a cube okay consider this as equation number three now what we have to do we have to differentiate capital f of x comma y comma z partially with respect to x y z and equate to zero so now i am differentiating then i will have dou f by dou x is equal to friends if i differentiated a capital F partially with respect to one variable, we have to treat all other variables as a constant only, means independent of the term. So here I am differentiating x, here x square derivative what I have? 2x. Is there any x term? No. So this is independent of x. 
here is there any x term no this is also independent so total y square plus z square is the independent of x term so this derivative will be 0 okay friends plus lambda into here you have x term uh, xyz is containing x term so yz is a constant while uh, differentiating partial with respect to x now x derivative is what 1 1 into yz is yz minus a cube a cube is already constant here so this derivative will be 0 no need to write so friends now this is dou f by dou x if i simplify it then i will have 2x plus lambda yz okay friends next find out dou f by dou y now i am differentiating capital f partially with respect to y here i have a y term no so that is why this derivative is 0 plus y square derivative is 2y plus z square derivative is 2z no because we are differentiating partially with respect to y that is why it is independent of y so this derivative will be 0 plus lambda into is it containing y term yes you have also xz term is there so xz is a constant here now y derivative is 1 with respect to y so 1 into y is 1 into xz is xz minus a cube derivative is what 0 so i am not writing here so which is equal to if i simplify then i will have 2y plus lambda into xz next differentiate capital f partially with respect to z now if i differentiate it is there any z term no so this derivative is 0 plus is there any z term no this derivative will be 0 plus z square derivative is what 2z plus lambda into now z derivative is what here z derivative partially with respect to z is 1 1 into xy is a constant we have to write so xy and a cube is a constant constant derivative is 0 okay which is equal to 2z plus lambda into xy okay now what we have to do we have to equate dou f by dou x is equal to 0 dou f by dou y equal to 0 dou f by dou z equal to 0 if you simplify this friends tell me what i can get here 2x is equal to 2x is equal to minus lambda yz so if you simplify for lambda only lambda term i repeat friends what i can get here okay 2x by yz is equal to minus lambda okay friends from this what i can get if you are simplifying then you will have 2y is equal to minus lambda xz from this i want only lambda term separately then i will have 2y by xz is equal to minus lambda next from this what i can get 2z is equal to lambda xy which is implies friends you tell me uh, plus or negative yes negative this is okay now you have to solve for lambda so what i can get here 2z by xy is equal to minus lambda friends you observe from these three what you can say these three are equal or not yes that is 2x by yz is equal to 2y by xz is equal to 2z by xy is equal to minus lambda now you have to simplify friends now i am taking first two equations tell me what i am getting you tell me 2x by yz is equal to 2y by xz if i take in here you see friends this 2 and 2 getting cancelled denominator z is there here also you have z now cross multiply x square is equal to y square okay give a box for this next second condition is what i have okay consider second and third one in the equality 2y by xz is equal to 2z by xy okay now your numerator 2 here numerator 2 getting cancelled in the denominator you have x term x term getting cancelled now cross multiply then y square is equal to z square okay you observe friends from these two what you can get x square is equal to y square is equal to z square that is x is equal to y is equal to z yes or no x is equal to y is equal to z now you got a relation between x y z so now do you know these values what are the values x y z don't know so substitute these values means x is equal to y is equal to z substitute in a given function pi of x comma y comma z is equal to 0 okay friends here i have written uh, x y z is equal to a cube this is the condition we have also given function is f of x comma y comma z is x square plus y square plus z square relation we got x is equal to y is equal to z so i am considering y is equal to x z is equal to x now you substitute in this equation then what will happen x into y i am considering as x z also i am considering as x which is equal to a cube so x cube is equal to a cube from this what you can say x is equal to a okay friends but we have x is equal to y is equal to z therefore what you can say x is equal to y is equal to z is equal to a that is you can say the point is x comma y comma z is equal to a comma a comma a this is called stationary point now you substitute in the given function then you will get minimum value 
that is f of x comma y comma z gives a minimum value now you put x is equal to a then a square y is also a a square again z is also a a square so you will have 3 a square this is the minimum value of given function f of x comma y comma z is x square plus y square plus z square with the condition x y z is equal to a cube okay friends now second problem what i gave the condition x plus y plus z is equal to 3a so you try to solve with this condition right right friends you try to solve the, this condition and tell me you are getting the same answer or not if you are getting same answer please uh, ping in the comment box thank you for watching this video